Hello, my name is uh, Joris van der Haar. I'm from the Netherlands Cancer Institute in Amsterdam. And this is a video about bioinformatics and systems biology in precision medicine. The definition of uh, bioinformatics is actually straightforward. Uh, it means that uh, you use computation to better understand biology. And with systems biology, you actually go one level deeper. And uh, you're not only trying to understand uh, biology, but you try to model it. So you try to make computational models of complex biological systems. Systems biology uh, approaches have great promise in, in, in oncology. Uh, so I, I think that, uh, that, that we all agree that our current implementations of precision medicine are overly simplistic. So from, for most of the drugs, we actually don't really know what the, the actual effects on cancer cells are. So we always have these simplistic graphs of the drug target and then downstream node one and downstream node two, downstream node three, and then a big arrow that says proliferation blocked. Right? But in reality, it's much more complex and probably a thousand factors involved that determine what the actual effect of a, of a drug on a cancer cell will be. And with uh, systems biology, you try to actually capture all that complexity in, in computational models. And I think that will be very powerful. We're currently at a tipping point uh, in history where we see actually medicine transforming into a data science. And we see that on many levels. So one example is the, the, the application of molecular tests, with, which generate huge amounts of data of individual patients. And you need bioinformatics to make sense of all that data. Another example is learning healthcare systems. So in the traditional way of doing evidence-based medicine, you only learn from those few patients that were included in a clinical trial. Uh, and we are now moving towards learning healthcare systems where we collect data of all the patients that we treat uh, and, and use that information to improve our clinical decisions. Uh, and of course, that also generates huge amounts of data and you need bioinformatics and, and clinical informatics to make sense of all the data. Bioinformatics is already uh, having a huge impact on our clinical uh, decision making. So we're all doing these molecular tests um, that generate huge amounts of data uh, and we're using bioinformatics to, to come to clinical decisions based on that data. Uh, however, with medicine moving towards uh, becoming a data science, uh, the, the influence of bioinformatics is just going to explode. So for systems biology, it's a bit different. So systems biology doesn't really affect our day-to-day -day practice at the moment. Uh, however, I think that the prospect is huge. So if we will be able to really make computational models and really simulate what the effects of, of specific treatments will be on individual patients' tumors, that will be, of course, incredibly uh, powerful for precision medicine.